Well, we don't know exactly where we're going yet, but it's time to start packing. So hopefully we will find a place, but probably better to start packing now than to find a place, come back, and then have all the stuff to pack, depending on how fast we have to come back and move all our stuff. Wish us luck. Is uh, evil space alien stuck to the wall? Oh no. Not evil spa- oh good. We've just been getting packing stuff all day, so. Boxes at Home Depot. This must be just for us. A lot of people always ask how you move all that stuff. Well, you put it in boxes and then you'll eventually put it on a truck. got the house cleaners for Jason and then again for our party and it's it's a mess again but this time I don't really care I don't think we're having anyone else over we could just do our work and pack and it could just be ugly while we're packing trying to get rid of stuff trying to get rid of boxes trying to make things smaller so they're easier to transport I think we need new bigger sets for videos that we're not gonna have time to finish because we got to leave soon so here's my cave I really wanted a stone dozer cave the foam is supposed to take eight hours to cure. I think I waited eight minutes to let it cure and then I started carving it. I'm gonna say dry enough. Start painting. Then I did the joint compound and the plaster stuff and then I started painting it. So there's just lots of wet layers, but I don't care. I do what I want. I suppose that's as good of a place as any, right? All right, that, that's looking pretty good, I think. I thought these orange lights were gonna glow a little nicer. It's like not really giving off much light. Um, Always wanted to do a cave. I was able to get this done really quickly. All right, so there's my cave. This was for that video that, that didn't end up happening because we couldn't get it done in time, but I still wanted to do the cave and I'm gonna try to work it in. That's coming along. Mia's working on Galaxy Warriors. Due to having absolutely no workspace, it's just kind of wherever you can find a place to work. So here's uh, the middle of the house right here. Don't trip. <laughs> I'm building a thing. This is such a pain in the butt. I need some toys in the closet of doom. There's just no way this doesn't end in something hitting me in the face, right? Uh, it's you. That's miraculous. I want that. Where's your friend? Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, you gotta be kidding. The other one's not even in here. Stay. Ah, uh, back in the back. Hey guys, here we've got GoBusters, so Q-Ger, Do-Oger, and Q-Ranger. What do they all have in common? That's right, none of these are US seasons yet. I think it's looking pretty good for Q-Ranger to be 2019 series. Don't forget 2018, Super Ninja Steel! We haven't seen a press release from Saban saying that it is indeed Q-Ranger, so what if they're undecided? What do you guys want to see next? I probably shot that video in two minutes and it probably took me two hours to get all the stuff out and probably that long to put it all back. Now I can put all the stuff away from the What Power Ranger Season Do You Hope For 2019 video and set up for the whale gun. Gonna finish that. New Red Ranger helmet has probably been sitting at Toys R Us since Wednesday, so yesterday was Sunday, I decided to go to Toys R Us and get that. And yes, it was there, but no Solar Eclipse glasses. Then on to Home Depot, because we need more boxes and other packing materials. It's always hard to tell the tone if you don't use an emoji. This guy says, uh, just called Van Eyes and you took the last one. You're everywhere. Hard to tell without emojis. I can't tell if that guy was kidding or not, but you know, nobody's stopping anybody from going to Toys R Us and checking yourself. The photo shows two. I bought one. Today was not a truck day. Yesterday wasn't a truck day. It's been there either since Wednesday or Friday. What's stopping you from going if you live near here? Got a lot of work to do in the backyard. I see the pond drained. I just filled this up. There must be a hole in it. And this bush ain't my tunnel. This massive thing. There it is. Oh, I want that back. And now there's thorny blackberries growing in here too. There's my tunnel. I think my train set is overgrown. All right, it's time to take it down. It, it's not getting very good use out here. There's a hole right there at the very bottom. All right, bye-bye pond. Real good pond. Ugh. This 
it's like we need to move so we can have the space to work, but we need to work in order to move. Uh, so maybe this can all go away now. We've been going through lots of toys. I've been packing things better. I've been buying all those little plastic bags so each figure can be individually wrapped so it's not getting damaged during shipping. Those bags are fantastic, by the way. Got all these figures in their boxes, but I have to open a bunch of them because there's just not room for everything. That really kills me. Some of these things were in such great condition. Taking in the trains and cleaning those off. There's things living in them. Oh, just look at all this good stuff in the box. Love the Geki Ranger boxes. I've been holding on to these forever, but I, I did throw them out. It kills me. Here, enjoy them on video. Here they are. Can't save everything, I guess. I don't even know if this camera works or not. Probably gonna get rid of it. It's a stop motion camera, but does anybody really need this to do stop motion anymore? Probably not. This is how you did it when I was a kid. All these good Beetleborg and Master Rider boxes. Star Wars Episode One. That, that really takes me back. All right, who can tell me what this guy's name is? Who can name him? Very easy name, very common. I still remember people rioting over these things in 1999. Anyone remember? MTV even covered that on TRL. They're showing the, like, the people lining up and everyone buying all the toys. More good RPM stuff. I'm keeping the Rhino Morpher, so I'm gonna open it and throw out the box. Another box gone. If our channel ever generates the kind of revenue that the, the really big people make, I would so open up a public space for just like all the toys for people to come and enjoy. I, I really wish that that was something we could do. Uh, obviously, I'm not opening our house to the world because you never know. Uh, we already have a couple people that are a little... who have actively been trying to find our house. For our own safety, it can't be where we live. But I would totally open up like a like an actual museum for, for all the toys if I could. Anyway, hey guys, uh, here's a vlog. So here's... One option of a road trip. We're leaving in like three days. Three, four days, something like that. Gotta pack, gotta do all these videos, gotta figure out how we're going, gotta all sorts of stuff. Um, Japan World Heroes is on Friday, today's Monday. I, I do wanna go to that, we'll see. We did finish the whale gun. I don't know when it's gonna go up yet, we have to figure it out. So we gotta figure out what are we gonna do with the channel while we're away looking for houses. A little stressful. The channel's been giving enough problems with us here with all of our equipment, so I guess we'll see how we run it from a hotel room. All right, I gotta end here because we gotta get back to the other channel and lots of packing and lots of figuring out. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will always be back soon with any good videos and good night.